J Squad, it's your boy J, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick Jamaican style breakfast. Yeah, we're looking at some fried plantings, and we're also going to be doing some fritters with it. So, fried planting and fritters. You want some of that breakfast? Let's go. guys you have to go ahead and you have to slice your plantains so you slice your plantains in according to how you want them to be you know whatever size you'd like them to be you may you go ahead and slice up your plantains nicely so that's the first part of of, of, of it you peel your plantains and then you slice them into uh, adequate proportions based to your liking J squad because we're doing everything together we went ahead and we already added the flour and we added the appropriate seasoning for this um for this recipe we're using the Maggi all-purpose seasoning. So we've already added the Maggi all-purpose seasoning to the flour and we've also added our water. So the next thing we're going to do is just give this a nice stir uh, so that it can become dough and you know the rest of that goes. Some people might like to add a little bit of black pepper to it. Uh, we might just go ahead and add a little bit of black pepper for flavoring as well. Alright, so as soon as we're finished with that, then we're going to add oil to the pot and start the party. Hello guys, if you're really adventurous and you really want to, you know, just do something different, you can always just add a little bit of um, natural seasoning for this recipe also. Um, I'm just going to be using some uh, Morgan's, Morgan's um, seasoning. Um, you know, it's a product that is in the beta stage right now, but... Trust me, it's I, I decided to use it in a couple of my, my, my um, cooking. I'm testing it before I actually reveal it to you guys, but I actually like it. So I'm just giving you guys a test run to let you see, you know, just using a little bit of it today. So it's called Morgan's Natural Cooking Seasoning. So, yeah, man, just going to add a little bit of it to it because it has a serious kick to it, guys. Serious, serious kick. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and stir all the ingredients together. You know, give it, a, give it a nice dough texture. Yeah, man. Use a spoon. You don't have to get your hands into it. You know, we're making fritters, not fried dumpling or anything like that. So you can just use your spoon and just, you know, stir all the ingredients together. Mixing the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And it should come out really nice. Feel free, guys, just to add a little bit of water for more consistency. If, it, if it's not soft enough, then you can go ahead and add more water to the mix so that you can get it to the right texture look at that coming together guys look at the color as well hey man this is this is definitely going to be ready soon and as soon as it is the dough is everything is is together then we are ready for putting it onto the stove and we can get the party started as I said before. Okay, so now that you have the plantains inside, what you want to do now guys is to make sure that you you know just check on them just to ensure that you don't you're not burning. Ah look at those already guys, they're already starting to take colour. Yeah, Amen. But you have to just make sure that you go through it so that nothing burns. Now the main reason for checking them as well is to see to it that nothing sticks to the pot. You know, we're dealing with, with, with hot oil here and we're dealing with plantains, you know, so we have to make sure nothing is sticking to the, the, the bottom of the pot. Yeah, man. I know there are ways and means to get it not to stick, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do the whole traditional way. Even though I'm using my tongs. But yeah, guys, we, we want to ensure that we don't stick, have anything sticking to the bottom and allow them to just swim in the oil. Remember, we didn't use... Um, plenty 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 oil So we're just allowing it not to stick guys. All right, look at the color now guys watch dinner Wow Look 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 guys See it turn golden brown guys Yeah, man, I told you it would be turning to golden brown So we just turned them a while ago. So as soon as everything is all right, then you guys will see guys now that we have finished with the plantains yes yeah, so the plantains over there we have gone ahead now and added the fritters to the oil 
So, yeah, man, the fritters are take time and are, and are come together nicely, guys. As soon as they're crisp enough, we're going to just flip those and allow them to, you know, set so that we can get all that butter that is inside that you're seeing right there to also become crispy and nice, nice and crunchy. Give it a nice Jamaican authentic crunch. We're going to just turn these. Yeah, man, we're going to turn them now, guys. So, some of them are crispy on the other side. Yeah. So we just all flip these now guys and just make the other the other side that was upwards now get submerged into the oil as well. Yeah man, good old fashioned Jamaican breakfast. Why well, I'm telling you, this looks good. Look good. Yeah man. This is how we do it in Jamaica, guys. This is how we do it in Jamaica. Look at those, guys. Look at those. Seriously. Real Jamaican food. Guys, there you have it. There you have it. There you have it, guys. The recipe that we put together today, it is the original fried plantains, ripe fried plantains. Last time we did the green fried plantains. Now we are doing ripe fried plantains. And we are also topping it off with some original jamaican fritters or fritters as most people would correctly call it so take a good look at it guys yeah man jamaican fritters with the ripe planting yes man wonderful breakfast guys i hope you enjoy if you like this video remember to give us a thumbs up on the video remember also to hit the subscribe button if you have not yet connected to the j squad and guys drop a meaningful comment so we can know what you think about this meal don't yeah man, so as we always say on this channel, Jay says, and we are out of here.